So batteries today are used in many different products from mobile phones, laptops to electric vehicles. There are distinct differences between the types of batteries that need to be used in those different applications and that's why there's quite a lot of research and development to optimise the performance of these batteries for, in particular, electric vehicles. One of the sustainability challenges with batteries is meeting the, the sort of carbon emissions. So automatically you think electric vehicles are greener because there's low or no emissions when you're using them. However, the production of the cells in particular for making electric uh, batteries for electric vehicles can be quite a dirty process. Things like mining of the raw materials, production of the active materials for coating the electrodes in the cells, these are processes that can be more efficient and more sustainable. And then you have the use uh, of those cells or batteries within an electric vehicle. They probably have a lifetime of 10 to 15 years. At the end of that time, you then have a large stockpile of used battery cells which can no longer have the efficiency to be used in an electric vehicle and therefore you need to find a way of either reusing or recovering the materials contained within those cells. So CPI has a number of projects in the area of battery materials and, and battery technologies. So we work with customers in improving the efficiencies of their materials production, for example, using our process engineering capability, life cycle analysis, techno-economic analysis, and indeed using our extensive process chemistry capability to improve the efficiency of materials production. We're also looking at novel chemistries to optimise the, the performance of those cells, and that's using our deep expertise in formulations and coatings, and combining them to really optimise the performance of each new chemistry and new technology that we come across. As a consumer, these improvements in, in the battery technology would really manifest as your car travels further, you don't have to charge it as often, and it could potentially, um, your car has a, a longer lifetime effectively, so you don't need to replace that vehicle um, as frequently as you might have to have done with older battery technologies. So not only are electric vehicles encompassing consumer cars, but they're also looking at every type of transportation. So. This could be a digger on a construction site, it could be your train that takes you to work, it could be electric planes for short distance journeys. I think those are the sorts of things that we can expect to see in the not too distant future. So that's really why battery innovation is so important today and why there's so much focus on research and development around this topic. Ultimately, if you are changing the chemistry of what's used in your mobile phone for the lithium-ion battery in your phone, you might not necessarily see the impact that that would have on sustainability, but you are effectively having a greener product in your hands because less intensive mining has gone into that to make that battery or less rare elements have been put into that battery. Or in fact, you know, once you recycle your phone, the chemistries can be extracted from that cell much more efficiently when you're using these new battery technologies. In an ideal world, in 10 years time, there's a large number of electric vehicles on the road. There's a real awareness of the public in terms of what the difference has been uh, over that period of time, changes in emissions, the connection of that with global warming, with climate change, and generally perceptions around the impacts that our everyday choices are making on the health of, of the world ultimately.